God's covenant with Abraham. Many years after the flood, there were again many people in the world and they still sinned against God and each other. Because they all spoke the same language, they gathered together and built a city instead of spreading out over the earth as God had commanded. They were very proud and they did not want to obey God's commands about how they should live. They even began building a tall tower that would reach heaven. God saw that if they all kept working together to do evil, they would do many more sinful things. So God changed their language into many different languages and spread the people out all over the world. The city they began to build was called Babel because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. Hundreds of years later, God spoke to a man named Abraham. God told him, Leave your country and family and go to the land I will show you. I will bless you and make you a great nation. I will make your name great. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All families on the earth will be blessed because of you. So Abraham obeyed God and Lot went with him. He took his wife Sarai together with all the servants and everything he owned and went to the land God showed him, the land of Canaan. When Abraham arrived in Canaan, God said, Look all around you. I will give to you all this land, and your descendants will always possess it. Then Abraham settled in the land. There was a man named Melchizedek, who was a priest of God Most High. One day, after Abraham had been in a battle, he and Abraham met. Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, May God Most High, who owns heaven and earth, bless Abraham. Then Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything he had won in the battle. Many years went by, but Abraham and Sarai still did not have a son. God spoke to Abraham and promised again that he would have a son and as many descendants as the stars in the sky. Abraham believed God's promise. God declared Abraham was righteous because he believed in God's promise. Then God made a covenant with Abraham. Normally, a covenant is an agreement between two parties to do things for each other. But in this case, God made a promise to Abraham while Abraham was in a deep sleep, but he could still hear God. God said, I will give you a son from your own body. I give the land of Canaan to your descendants. But Abraham still did not have a son.